You mentioned today uh, the South Tyrol. Would you like to expand on that? Yes, uh, as uh, you know, after the Second World War, okay, in Italy we had uh, more or less the same problem that uh, unfortunately we are experiencing right now in eastern Ukraine, a so-called ethnic conflict. Uh, and uh, with many people that uh, we are fighting to each other, Italian and German ethnicity and so on. And what happened? Fortunately, we were able to sit on a table. And uh, the purpose was we have to achieve for peace. How? To live together in uh, one region, guaranteed the autonomies to the German-speaking people or the Italian-speaking people. After 60 years of this special autonomy that has been granted by the Italian state to the region of South Tyrol, we can see that now the South Tyrolers of Italian or German ethnicity are living in one of the richest regions of Europe. This is an absolutely positive example that we can give. Do you think uh, we as Europeans, as the European Union, European uh, institutions, are we helping or hindering this process? In today I have uh, had unfortunately the feeling that uh, we are not helping, unfortunately we can be a problem. We can be a problem because uh, uh, we are not standing uh, uh, for the uh, achievement that must be peace. Unfortunately, we are standing on the ground for one or the other player. I believe that we should be a little bit much more neutral and try to uh, not force, but to invite both uh, of parts to sit on a table to achieve uh, uh, peace, but uh, without standing to uh, one side or the other. And this is the big mistake, according to me, of Europe nowadays. So what should Europe do then? Well, we are going, uh, hopefully, uh, to visit uh, these areas, okay, uh, to see directly on the ground uh, how is the situation and try to propose uh, what I just told you, both sides to sit together and find a deal. As an Italian, I hope to be able to bring the example of South Tyrol, okay, and uh, with uh, our historic uh, uh, example, maybe we can propose and give, be a positive uh, help for, for them. Thank you very much.